Would you all please, please stand so that we may recognize and welcome the eighth graduating class of Highlands Community Charter School. Now coming to the stage is Highlands graduate, Ebony Piper. Hello. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. We did it, y'all. We did it. I am so excited. To my fellow graduates, well done, friends, well done. I did it. I really did it. I want to say thank you to Highlands Community Charter School for believing in me and encouraging me to stand here before you tonight. I want to say our school has been our main purpose of me feeling so successful and powerful to stand here without an anxiety meltdown breakdown. I want to say a big thank you to my husband, James Piper, to my, to my son, Robert Reed, to my son, Tommy Mason, to my mom and my dad, and my four sisters here with me tonight, like they ha always have throughout this journey. My voice is cracking, so please forgive me. <laughs> um, it was 1989 in East Palo Alto. I was 16 years old, and this is where my life got complicated. At the time, my mom was addicted to drugs, and my dad was in and out of jail. My mom has seven children, and I'm the third oldest child. The drug had a strong hold on mom, therefore she couldn't care about the well-being of her children. So often we were left to care for ourselves. Life was hard, and I wanted to get out of there as quick as possible. I remember starting high school, and I actually being ready to start high school because my summer was so full of dysfunction. How would I ever complete high school? I was already in a bad relationship and my boyfriend didn't want me to go to school. So entering the ninth grade was overwhelming and no support at home. No way to purchase school supplies. I didn't believe any teachers really cared. They couldn't care because I was never in class. I fell behind and got pregnant and lost all of my dreams. In 1991, I was having my first son. I named him Robert Reed. I felt so proud but I also felt embarrassed. Um, in 1992, I had another baby boy. I named him Tommy. So now I'm thinking to myself, here I am, 19 years old, two children, no high school diploma, in a bad relationship, and I'm starting to feel more anxiety and more overwhelmed every single day. I have always dreamed of going back to school, but now the kids, and going back to school, I felt that was over. I eventually leave my kid's dad and raise my two kids by myself with the help from my village of sisters. My sister showed me how to be a good mom and how to get a, get a job, but I never went back to high school. Fast forward to 2014, my boys are grown and out the house, but I still don't have a high school diploma. I still haven't thought about earning a high school diploma. I kind of felt like it was behind me and I didn't think I needed it or wanted it. But here in America, you know that's a badge of honor. You see, raising our kids, I've always told my sons that life was a competition. And let's see who's going to win between the three of us. But they had an advantage because they had a high school diploma. But I would say, we're all starting at the same place, but you guys have that advantage. Let's see who's going to win between the three of us. Of course, as parents, we forget some of the stuff we tell our kids. One day, Tommy calls and says, Mom, I'm winning. I asked him, TJ, what are you talking about? He said, Mom, I have a high school diploma. I have a certif certificate in information technology, and I have a great job with an office. After the phone call with my son, I was real with myself, and I thought, what did I need to win? I want to win. <laughs> I had turned 40 years old, and my boys was grown and out the house, and I sure wasn't going to let my son beat me at life. I had no other choice but to get my life together. But it was overwhelming, 
because I never really tried to do anything. I had lost my dreams many years ago. I wanted to find my dreams and go after them, but I had no dreams. I had no goals. I thought to myself, go back to school and earn your high school diploma. I knew I had to start at the beginning, but this was my chance to start my new chapter. I call it my authentic power chapter. So my sister Reese found Highlands Community Charter School on Craigslist and she thought it was a good fit. We both thought I should try it out, so we called and we were given information to come to the school on Wednesday for we was given information to come to school on Wednesday for high school orientation. Now when Tuesday come around, I was thinking, I'm not going to no damn orientation. <laughs> I was gonna let the orientation itself be the reason why I wasn't going back to school. But I wasn't gonna let TJ beat me. <laughs> so I found my courage and got up and we went to Highlands and spoke with Sherry Franklin and I was so nervous, I told Sherry my story that I had dropped out of school over 20 years ago and I wasn't sure if I could do this. Sherry then gave me a long printout of all the work that needed to be done, but she reminded me kindly that I was all out of excuses and I needed to get this done for myself. No more excuses, Sherry would say. On my first day of school, my career success instructor told us he will hold us accountable for our actions. If we sign up for his class, he expected us to be there on time, or we need to let him know the day of or the day before that we will not be there. He expected us to come, class, come to class prepared as if it was a job. He pushed me out of my comfort zone by making me do things I was not comfortable with, such as going in front of the class and speaking every morning about different topics of our lives. He used to ask, where do we want to be in the next five years? What do we want to do in the next five years? But he was also pouring positivity into me daily. He was encouraging me and making me feel needed, letting me know people do see good in me. Highlands Community Charter School is very empowering. They are built to lift you up, to build you up, and send you on your way. In 2016, I completed my high school academics and I enrolled in Cos Cosmo Beauty Academy, cosmetology program. The program was 17 months. I was there every day. I was so proud of myself. I had come so far and now it was time to graduate. Not so fast, grasshopper. I was diagnosed with breast cancer. I was so devastated. All I was thinking was, oh my God, I got four months left for school. Why? Why God? Why me? My whole life has stopped. But to tell you the truth, I thought, this is a really good excuse. I can give up now. But oh no, I'm almost at the finish line. This is my greatest challenge and I will not give up. I will not let TJ beat me. And now, now I have a testimony. So I beat cancer with love and support of my family. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yes. I came through it with more confidence, more courage. My cancer didn't kill me, it made me way stronger. It has been a long, exciting road on my path to finding my purpose. After a long battle with cancer and thinking I wouldn't make it, I realized life is about people. We need people to pull us through the tough times. We need people to help protect us when we are most valuable. People like James, my husband, my son, my mom, my dad, my sister, Cherry, Bonnie, Janiko, my niece, Jaleesa, my niece, Emmy. These people supported me. They fed me, they loved me, they hugged me, and they just let me know it'd be okay. And because all of the love and nourishment that was given to me, I found my authentic power. My purpose in life has always been and will always be making people feel good, not passing judgment and helping anyone I can. I recently completed cosmetology school and learned some new, school, new skills. 
I'm using my power to help other people in need. When I changed my mindset, I changed my life. I can now call my son and say, I'm right behind you. I'm winning too. I earned my high school diploma. I have my cosmetology license. And I have some dreams. So now, no matter what happens, I still know I can do anything. Even if I don't have the means, I have the will and desire to follow and accomplish my dreams. So stay encouraged, stay dreaming, stay happy, stay humble, and remember, it's never too late. Ladies and gentlemen, Ebony Piper.